here, the compositions before your screen. We'll see what we have cooked up as the first round is going to kick off. And it seems like Fnatic want to go towards A. Oh, this is a 2v2 all the way down on this curve and bangs the first kill on the game. Bang feels like a player who, who grew a lot during LCQ with the opener to start things off. As much as we talk about confidence, I feel like that's a big one. Yeah, that is huge, but also this protocol that they had in general there. You saw they have two stars to take control of this curve area. Let's and then elbow. Elbow, sure. Elbow, Whatever. banana? We could just make up things, We'll too. make it up. <laughs> it looks we'll like a Pac-Man to me, right? Pac- Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of nice. All but right. either way, the, the protocol, as soon as there was any sort of fight, as you see Durka taking multiple, actually. He has his TP not too far away to get out of this. This boaster's taking so much space down long. I think they want to try to flip back that way. This is such a cool anchor, too. That's all the way tucked back Ew. way where he came from. Yeah. And he can easily TP to safety in that entire area. It's so quiet, though. And you only have Asuna on this B site. He's all the way in B link, though. Remember, Mystic no longer around. So that utility is not going to be a factor in this. They're going to get onto the site with relative ease. Asuna, as you mentioned, the only one really in the same zip code, Spike but just kind of has to wait as his teammates show up. And then they can push away forward. But it's actually Fnatic who take the fight to 100 Thieves doorstep. First kill going their way. All the way in spawn. I'm out of here. Yeah, but how much more can they get? That poster is creeping his way around. Will wins that up. Now he's up top. Should be able to drop down on, but there's a really good pulse plan set up here from Fnatic. If they don't take care of what's happening on long, if they don't take care of that control, this is going to be very difficult. Diffuse to hold. There's a wall out, though. They got to break the wall. Asuna getting it all the way to half. And you're right, the it's wall exposed. provides cover. But there's enough suppressive fire to get the defuse. 100 Thieves take the pistol. And instantly prep from 100 Thieves on so many levels. Just the pistol round strat in general, too. They left Asuna on B by himself. Invited Fnatic to join in on that site. And then the entire plan worked really well. Use that wall in the retake. Just as we've seen so many times on Icebox. One enemy remaining. Great retake and great start from 100 Thieves. For them to hold composure once the Sage wall went down too, to provide cover for Asuna. It's a great start, as you mentioned. And it seems like we may have another delay here. Sure. I also want to note the Viper wall setups that they've done. The first one on Pistol Round was covering mid a lot. Mm -hmm. This one is much more aggressive, something you've seen in like B on Breeze and Cave, right? Where you get a lot of pockets that you can walk up on. Fnatic has to take their time to clear it out. Actually, I, I want to go back to that because one of the fun things about having a new map is that we, we, we get to like theory craft, right? We get to talk through what are strong ports of the maps, what are in, how, how are teams going to invest their resources to control areas? And I think as we've seen Pearl of All for as little as we have, there is this interesting, uh, in diff uh, diff different schools of thought, yeah. perhaps, where either mid is outrageously important sure. and you must control it, or there are other teams who just, we're gonna slam our heads into B and A and there's nothing you can do to stop us. Yeah, there's so much theory crafting. That's why I'm really excited to watch Fnatic, right? These yeah. guys have, uh, both these teams, these guys consistently put in the prep work um, to understand how different theories clash against each other. And that's what I give props to Sean for a lot, right? Where he's able to really understand how both sides of the coin are actually gonna interact. So. So much to watch, so much to learn in this matchup. As we have a tech pause, you can see gear, we saw Mystic trying to work something now, who knows? Hopefully the, we'll get back into it. The shrug emoji. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> I don't know. Did see him shrug. So hopefully we get that fixed up. Still seems like all smiles. This also feels like a, like a, a universal tease, right? For as much as we like get all excited about 100 Thieves and Fnatic and yeah. how they should have played, we get one round in. <laughs> and it's like, nope, we're going to throw the brakes on this. Let's make you guys think about it a little bit longer. It's funny because I also kind of feel like this is uh, uh, just the entire series a little bit of a tease, too, because it's an opening group match, yeah. right? Yep. I mean, yeah, we're at yeah. Champions. is the final tournament of the year. But still, the stakes right now, we're still in groups. There's still plenty of time to develop, plenty of time for these guys to get experience on the stage, get the jitters out, get the fans in as well. And there's something that we, we haven't really talked about very much at all, Ball, is this like consistency of North American teams, first time on the stage, struggling, mm -hmm. uh, getting grouped, you know, not making it out. And yes, this format's a bit different because everyone starts in the same spot. There's no knockout stage from 
having the number one seed, but yeah. I, d I do think you're right. Like, getting these jitters out, this is important. But imagine going up against Fnatic as, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's comparatively to having... <laughs> I mean, I guess all the NA teams played Optic anyway, so uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you go around here for Fnatic, and the approach is not going to be over towards that wall. But look also how 100 Thieves played this. They put the orb down in mid at the top. So it's fairly difficult to take it from the window side. And again, slow from Durka. He's going to lead the charge this time on the B site with the headhunter. You can definitely get a kill here. Hey, he's got to be careful. That should be the first Q. Derek dropped the Haunt at the beginning of the round, back down long, and it, they waited it out. Now they're going to push their way forward. How soon do the rotations come around? The Prowler to try to provide some cover, but Alfier has gotten behind enemy lines. He's only able to get one as Bang trades him out. Now they have alley control. They just have no sight control. Mystic's the guy who picked up the Spectre as well. And Boaster, actually, almost all of Fnatic is going to be grouped up in the back of sight. There's slows already. Oh, this this could be dangerous. Spot. Yeah, you've got all sorts of utility. It could cause problems. But it was actually Wills, who was really the big difference maker there, no longer around as the spike continues to tick away. How do you get four members of Fnatic out of this tiny little alley? And it's like that. <laughs> Three from Stellar, one from Astana. 100 Thieves take the second. Just like that. Durka makes it a little bit hurtful. Yeah. For 100 Thieves, though. So with the spike now being planted on both rounds, Fnatic will definitely have a really nice buy here. And 100 Thieves will be bruised and battered. They're not going to have options to go for a true bonus. Instead, they'll take the potential massive hit and a chance to win this round. Holy smokes, it's almost been a year. Is it that long ago? Yeah, dude. 349 days. Long time ago. And the crazy part, too, is 100 Thieves have really, really... This roster specifically has not been together for... What, two months? Yeah, it's two really, and a half it months. feels like two months, but it's a little longer than that. Almost half a year now, which is crazy to think about. I'll find you. Same Viper Wall that you mentioned defensively from Stellar, and this this time a bit different look from yeah. Fnatic. It's much more spread out. They are trying to explore the middle of the map. They just skip it too, right? Alphavir just dives in front of the wall, takes control of Art, and so it completely nullifies everything but the double doors area. Hmm. Our Asuna is still prepped and ready. He has his wall. No more slows, though. The low purchase they're going for. And so feeling like there's a bit of aggression. You see the nade running his way. Ooh, I hit him. Yeah. <laughs> In the face. Yeah. Down to 70 HP, no armor. Uh, up top, cheeky. Little corner is able to get one. They, again, inviting them. That's while the fuel is down for Stellar. And again, it seems like we're going to end up be four strong on the side of Fnatic as they quietly work their way up. Little defenses on this side again. We've seen this round when it was Asuna. Yeah. This time, they spotted Stellar. Him. Also has his orb here, so he can put it up potentially in a second. K coming through on Alpha. Stellar's job is to delay here. How long can he stay alive? A second Molly to provide cover. Seconds left. And to delay, delay even longer. And now Derek shows up. Alfier out. The spike is just, just hovering. He's waiting for them to get what it is they're looking for. The utility that they need back up so they can swing out. Oh, and Fnatic are just picking up shreds. It's just Will and Bang that remain. Two rifles here. They're in a 2v3. Last Once again, standing. it's this long control that they try to lean into. The smoke to provide some cover, but Bang is left alone. The Prowler not going to tag him. They may get something here. It's just one kill, though. That's all it was. He was flashed up to high heaven. Fnatic get the first round. And good recognition from Fnatic to stay in front of that smoke. That 100 Thieves is consistently trying to keep up. Yeah. They had the Viper Orb there, and then the Astro Smokes were layering on top of it. And uh, they did have a lower buy there, so they went for a bonus. They'll have full guns here to this challenge against Fnatic, who is definitely throwing a little bit of an economic boon. Knowing exactly how to keep the momentum in this. Here's an aggressive play from Will, maybe trying to get up to this cubby, but you want also play, two stars again, play. super deep up into the bar. Prowler to swing out, and they, those are opposing Astro Stars there. So <laughs> both teams with an understanding that there may be something on the other side of this. The flash goes out, Durka. Oh, with the ult, and it buzzes right by his ear. The swing off of that gets him. And they've just lost a huge portion of their map control. Fnatic, thankfully, the smoke clears, and they're able to at least recover some of it. But they don't know what's on the other side now. They're going to have to be really cautious of a close setup. Also, that cubby but there's just nothing here from Fnatic.
they have to call an audible, and it looks like Boaster's already right heading back over towards this B site, so for the fourth time in a row, we're eventually going to end up on that site. That yeah, certainly seems to be the case. Remember, it was in the previous round that Fnatic, you even heard it in the comms, great recovery. Yep. First plan did not go as they wanted, and they had to audible to this. And Alphia is always the tip of the spear to get through that smoke as fast as possible, yeah. but oftentimes they're not able to clear out the back of B site, but look, Stellar's not here this time, and there's nobody actually playing in dark. Which has been their issue so seconds far. Left. Once again, contact. Boaster creeping his way up mid. This is slightly different. They haven't really applied pressure from this way before while hitting it. Now we start to drop all the stars to provide cover. They've taken B. Don't forget how aggressive they were in their pistol round two to push up in the spawn and hold the front of sight rather than go for the post plants that Paper X was going for. Alfier, who did it, now Derek has to wait back to see if there's anyone coming in through double doors. Well Cosmic divide through. Spikes Face on the other fear. side of that. Yeah, now you've got the Nightfall to work with as well. Bang has already fallen. No controller around, at least on the astral side of things. I see the Seekers through as well. Heal. Spotting a couple members of 100 Thieves. They it's keep the front of the wall. With the flash. And it's because they haven't been able to get him out of this corner. They haven't been able to get him out of that back alley. Now Austin creeps forward. You've got more in reach. Sources oh. 100 Thieves. Breakthrough just in the nick of time. How did they just demolish Fnatic there? They took all the time in the world to clear out the back of sight. To take the front of the Astral Wall that they put down before anything even happened. While the Astral Wall falls is when the kills fall too. Look at this retake. Asuna all the way at the front. The defuse goes on. And at this point, there's not even any utility anymore. For Fnatic, Boaster didn't have any stars to even pull the defuser through that wall. Yeah, they dumped everything on the take, yeah. So they lose the bonus, but recover immediately. Note here for Fnatic, Alfier with his ult, Boaster with the Frenzy. Find you. And it seems like he's gonna try to take art. You see it, the flash through for Alfier to take that space. And he may have not gone all the way up, but he's tucked yeah. around. One of the 36,000 cubbies <laughs> that are on this map. <laughs> no, that's actually pocket. Oh. All right, I got that one wrong. But again, a heavy investment mid here. Yeah, it's quiet for 100 Thieves, and they're really not gathering too much info other than Derek, who's jump spotting from the back of B site. But they know, given that haunt, which they've already seen, Alpha, you could definitely be close art. Up, or, excuse but me, Derek should be up shortly. It just went out. Alpha's going to use his ult to try to challenge Bang here, who is just completely ready. Oh, they're going to the sewers! Challenging, yeah, into sewers. It was the Prowler that gave Will away, and Alphier swings off of it and gets the kill. And now they have alley control. Now they can push their way towards B. But much like we saw in the previous round, 100 Thieves have control of that back alley. And guess what? Alphier's not I done yet. B. A 3v2 in favor of Fnatic. Austin has the spike though. Oh, oh, that would have been so big. He's the real thief here. <laughs> Stellar with the Molly ride into Mystic Slap. Spike and that hurts. Austin trying to find the swing, and there's suppressive cover from up top, but Austin gets the kills. Now it's Alfier who's left alone. Oh, no longer in play. Can he get the clutch? Can he get the 1v2? Oh, he spotted Stellar. But the shots don't land, and they're just going to push him. They're going to swing out together. They have to clear him out, but Alfier's gotten a 2-1v1. He's already got three, and Stellar wins the clutch. He wins the 1v1, and he gets the defuse. Harry round. But Stellar, the IGL, holds strong against the young player from Fnatic. But Asuna with the hold. He got challenged immediately in B-Link, banged in, and Asuna was there to support. This fight is well onto Will. They didn't really capitalize on any of the sewers push other than getting the first pick. Yeah. One enemy remaining. That's three. And I mind you was a big one, right? Dropping out the, the rays, but you're right. I really don't think that's going to be much of their... <laughs> it, uh, it's so weird to see emotion out of Sean like that. <laughs> Fnatic calling a timeout here, down three rounds. Seems like the money should be okay for them to be able to buy up full here. But they've heavy leaned towards B, right? Primarily through long. We've seen them it's explore that area of map through mid a little bit, but you're right. They have they have not explored the eastern side of the map whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, outside the early push onto the A site. Mm -hmm. I think this is what a lot of coaches have been talking about on this map, right? It's 
there's certain ways that that the game progresses on the map at early development where sure. you feel like you can just go one side every time. But so far, the way that they're approaching that B side is not working at all, right? I would have expected this out of 100 Ps with the Sage in play. But instead, they're really relying on that fast dash from Alfier into the back of sight. But there's not even any utility, really, to support him that can get into the back. I'd like to see something like that from them. Maybe that could help out. Because they're not able to stay on site either. A combination of some B-Link takes as well through double doors and the long push. Because, again, it's been those two positions that they're trying to flush them out of. Yeah. Interesting note here, I believe this is a different Viper wall, yeah. and yeah, the pit laid right over the top of it. The thing is, they've kind of explored art, but not Oh, oh Asus, gotta oh be careful. Got Durka up to higher ground, but then backs up. Prowler's gonna follow him through, but there's no follow yet. It's interesting that this wall, which is primarily used all the way deep into mid, also covers the A main. They just collect the order and fall off. This one, they want to force through this pit into art. They don't have Enzo's Nightfall. They don't They don't have any like clear utility go, go, go. to oh, get like through that, it. Though. You could see on top, potentially, a head pokes out there on the stairs. Follow, we may see a B hit for the first time. Or an A hit, excuse me, for the first time. There's no slows from Asuna. Derek is playing all the way back down this alleyway here. He's so far back. He's got the Nightfall 2 to help out Asuna in this, and he's playing on top of Dugout. That's not an angle you expect when you're first new to playing the map. Remember, Asuna does not have the wall. There's Nightfall. You've got the relay for oh. the fast lane. Excuse me, to find some space, and out here goes right through it and gets two. Both members that you mentioned trying to hold the line on the site, gone. You still have the Viper's Pit. You can maybe try to deal with, but no, Alfier seems to want to do it all himself. Three on the round already, two just on the other side. Can they hold back? Alfier's got four. <laughs> what a 10 <laughs> HP. <laughs> oh, he's not able to get the ace. He, Boy, he came close. He wanted it. Yeah, he Bose did. is already covering. Sewer is too. So far ahead of the round. What a so great bad. execute. The amount that went into that. The haunt for Alfier to get into that smoke. The utility that was pushing Derek out of that smoke in general too. And then the spam too on Asuna. He was flashed. Couldn't break that haunt. And it's because of things like that, the prep that goes in these executes, that Fnatic is getting the spike down every round. <laughs> it's wild that Fnatic, or that 100 Thieves is able to still have the lead in that situation, because usually the retakes are hard. Yeah. And they've been playing super soft, at least on B. They've broken the money, though, finally. And this is Sean Garris and Stellar's chance to go for a push into mid. Alfier seems to be ready for it. And again, he's got that ultimate. Oh, the shoulder given away, but you swing out and you see five, five thieves just waiting for you. And you get cleaned up for it. Can't get the gun though. Oh, he just picked it up. There's nobody to actually punish. But off of this, I mean, yeah, there was, there was a lot of fun mid. But while that was happening, Fnatic have gotten onto B. They've taken full control. Once again, we're seeing them push aggressively into spawn. Oh, good jump spot from Austin. They're so aware of that. Just the walkabout deep into spawn. And Will has his ult, too. They're playing close. This could be dangerous. Will could definitely punish them. Got Durka playing real close by, too. Will, as you mentioned, no danger there. So much no danger at all. Clean round out from Fnatic. Too many different areas that they've completely controlled after that initial mid push. So good call from Bosa there to just run it down B once again. And again, it, the, all of the info that Alfier got mm -hmm. off of that early swing really just kind of secured things for them. And as, as you were mentioning, it's a pistol round for him, but it is worth noting, Fnatic were down 4-1, call a timeout, and I mean, 100 Thieves haven't won around since. Yeah. Couple ults here for Fnatic. Some good ones for the execute too. Again, going for the same main control. Mystic does not care about the smoke that's put down at the beginning of the round. Just destroys him. Seekers used. You see Enzo go back, pick up the spike, and it seems like they want to go towards A. Cosmic Divide. How much, how, how much further can he keep him back? The flash through it. A 
Austin awaiting on the other side as Durka decides to go the long way around. They just took the site with three people. Look at where Durka is. He's tucked in this tiny little corner, again, on the other side of the Cosmic Divide. There's no way they expect him here. And Alfie's just gotten to help Mystic here in secret. He's gonna, he very well may walk right by this. Mystic takes her bang, as you mentioned. Saving already? Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, nice response out from Will. It's crazy, he just did a little bit more damage too. If his teammates were still there, there might have been a chance to punish the overextension, but Boaster's already down in mid, ready to collect the exit. He's pretty healthy himself. Oh, and on the other side of the box, forces out the swing. Will cleans it up half a second late. <laughs> But either way, we've, we've seen a very clear difference on how Fnatic have been approaching these attacking rounds from the timeout up until now. Yeah. And it's working. Well, once they get these ult up, Nimi's a guy who thinks a lot about how to use these ults to give themselves the best possible advantage. And good on Mystic as well. To just instantly pounce. Ended. Keep Stellar up close. And Alfier <laughs> and Bolster were not in that hit. The entry player for Fnatic was not even there. Now it's 100 Thieves who are calling a timeout. See if they can right the ship. Again, it's been a tale of, of what, two timeouts? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite work as well. Well, let's see. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's been that, right? Like, 100 Thieves look like they were in control. Timeout called. Fnatic punch right back. Yeah. Roar out of that thing to tie us up at four. And I, I think, again, you've seen the changes in the defaults. You've seen the changes in the way the Fnatic are thinking through these attack rounds. They've shown a lot more variety than what was just seen in the first four. Yeah. It certainly is a lot more variety. And I think that's the nice thing about Fnatic, right? It's game plans. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this... Let's poke a little bit towards B. Mm -hmm. And they'll give it up if it's not working. But they could always go back to those hits. And obviously that's going to be the cornerstone of their B executes. But the A hits have been working amazing. Again, an opening map between 100 Thieves and Fnatic, a, a series that really, as soon as we saw uh, the, the groups come out and the teams all qualified, you knew this one was going to be a good one. This was the one that people got all fired up about. And so far, it's been for good reason. Delivering in terms of learning Pearl with you guys. Delivering in terms of just the amount of new faces that we're seeing here from 100 Thieves. It's just fun. Fun vibes here at Champions. <laughs> Seems like they're mid. We should be getting back into things here very shortly yeah, as a timeout clears up. And now we get a good look at, at ultimates. And now we get a look, good look at economy. For 100 Thieves, you see it. There's not much to go around. They do have Will Showstopper and they do have Austin as rest. So maybe you try to dial something up. Note that they're both playing in art right now. There may be something where if he gets in a, a bit of world to hurt, the res brings him back up. Yeah, that's exactly the plan right now. Give Will an opportunity to hunt. Oh, but Dirk has been set up too. Yeah, the recall on that star, the, the little film that's been out for Pearl. They've got so much control here in mid. And it nets them the easy kill. And Will's out of there. Yeah. Did he get the heal? No, he has to actually go all the way through sewers to get it from Asuna. Did not pose any more danger because you could see Enzo's ready to pounce back onto that. This has been the story for a lot of the rounds from Fnatic, but Durka has not yet been able to find super value. This time he has the opto, so let's see. There's two players playing up in heaven. Yeah, if anyone dare jiggle that again, you imagine you'll have a, a kneecap blown off, a shoulder, something. I mean, at this point, Derek should be playing for contact off of Will, right? You heard the op shot go off. Now they understand what's on the other what side of this fight. Haunt spots Derek, no follow-up damage. Only 40 seconds here, Whoa. Boaster has found himself through double doors. A sneaky son of a gun that he is, and he's going to continue to push his way forward. There's so little time for them to actually get anything. Boaster has to catch a rotator. 30 seconds and he may left. onto Stellar if the timing lands just right. Oh, but Stellar's waiting for it. He's looking at it. Oh! And that's going to give him a weapon. He can now flank Asuna, too. He's only got a Sheriff. The slows could really cause problems, though. Or note that Asuna's here alone, though. With 13 seconds left. Oh, they've, they're just stuck right now. They're in mud. Ten yeah, but they, left. they may end up getting the site anyway. Yeah, they are. Austin is just here alone. Now they're going to show up and fight for the retake. It's going to be a 5v3. And note, there's still two rifles in the hands of 100 Thieves. And Boaster's giving up the flank, too. Can they get through this? You've got the wall to help out. And there's a showstopper. The haunt. And there it is. 
and he gets one on Enzo. It was actually Durka who was a target, but Durka gets away. They're still up, they're still healthy, and look at this thing. Nothing found, nothing doing. You really needed that booster flank to work out in this round. Well, that was so late. Because if, right. if he doesn't, I mean, Asuna has the comfort to fall back there, and they still maintain the back of spawn, so not having that really punishes them. That's a thrifty win for them. There was only one gun in that round. Not just that. It's a thrifty round win. The lead goes back to the right, and they pick up the op from Durka. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Osta crouching through the hole. You're right, though. So much. Thankfully, they did use Will's ult, so that's not up anymore. Asuna rocking the op. Light armor here. Again, he still has that res to work with. And he's going to be holding down B long. And note, it doesn't seem like that's where Fnatic are headed, although we've been baited into thinking that many around before this one. There's just so many defensive protocols that Fnatic have to consider because 100 Thieves is putting out the entire strat book right now on all sides of the map. The Prowler to clear out art doesn't spot anything. They're looking to try to take this alley control. They're going to push Stellar back. Trying to dodge the stuns and spots Alfier, but that's it. Oh, that's a big one. As soon as the smoke goes down, Will's there to greet Boaster. And the double face, too. That's challenging Fnatic's default that they're continuously putting players off by themselves. This should be the first time they get through art, and look at the defensive setup from 100 Thieves. Oh. They have four members all around with three now, but they still have heavy presence here. Don't forget. You could easily be flanked here if you commit through art. Yeah, and that's what Seller's looking for. Yeah. He's been spotted already, so now they understand. Well, previously it was just a threat. Now they know it's there. <laughs> and they're going to push right into it. Yeah, it's Alfier who tries swinging into it, and Stellar holds the line. Bang keeps him back, too. Durka gets one off the pen, but how much more can he find? Austin is still with the op. He's starting to rotate over, but you've got Derek and Bang who are here, and they clean things up. 100 Thieves to six. That push down onto Stellar was certainly a little ill-advised from Fnatic. Because, again, time running down, you're also just kind of taking the bait. Right? Sure, they kill yeah. Will, but you have the follow-up here from Derek and Bang as well. They're re-clearing Art. The grab well was beautiful, too. I mean, there was so much there from 100 Thieves. And instead, Fnatic spot one player, and they want to kill him because they think he's exposed by himself. What did Fnatic do here? A fast hit towards A. I think we've only really seen this in the pistol, but the gravity wall again is the problem. And now you've got the Nightfall to push them back even more, but it's countered. We've got one of their own. Prowler's gonna find Enzo. The intent of this round from Fnatic was to go for a split on A. You saw the stun through the little window. Yeah, and art. And it just gets completely denied by 100 Thieves Utility. Got an alarm bot in mid. And you see Mystic is there checking to see if anyone pushes in through Art. But once again, Fnatic heading towards B. Asuna still has that op, and he's been patient. And you there's no play, cross smoke this time play. that they do at the beginning of the round, but Dirk has popped his op! Oh my gosh! And not a moment too soon. Now the op is down. There's no one close by to recover it. Ridiculous. He pops that late in the round. Asuna feels safe to try to repeak angles. Split second decision, man. You heard it. Fight you heard planted. the ult line go off and, and you the knew what was coming. It looked like the op was recovered for just a moment. Jerka goes back to the Vandal. The op actually goes in the hands of Enzo. Double op now. But they're so close. They're both there. Both ops are in that, that same nook, cranny, alley thing. Cosmic Divide to keep him back. He's gotta get but a once up. again, they've gotten past the Cosmic Divide they set up before. And there Got it is, Jerka with another. Yeah, I think he cleared out the Roomba with that op shot. <laughs> 35 HP and they swing right into his lap. Understanding this pressure coming in from both sides. He tries to keep it at bay. Boaster's been cleared out as well. A 2v2 stellar on the tap. They're gonna swing and they're both gonna swing him at the exact same time. An excellent response from Fnatic. Just such a good recovery. Durka's shot opens that round up for Fnatic. Of course. They would have had such a difficult time to clear Asuna, but the problem for Asuna was at the beginning of that, before they even get the site. Here's the shot from Derrick. This right here, Asuna has to cover both B Link and B Long. Yeah. And that is an impossible task for a non-chamber or jet offer. Yeah, 
yeah, it's so difficult. No mobility. Careful, Zip. See the pings on the minimap from Fnatic already, expecting someone there. No op in the hands of Hundred Thieves this time around. Yeah, it's not something that they're relying on at all on this map. Don't necessarily have the money for it anyways, but... Here. Challenging this was difficult. How does that happen? It just it seemed like he just slipped right around a smoke. Boaster does not, just doesn't understand that wall yet. Uh, and that got Will the op. It was off of taking Pac-Man control. I guess we're sticking with that. Can they get the orb? No. All right, we'll, we'll change it. All right, they get the orb and they get Will the uh, his ult. Fnatic getting the spike down on B, and once again, Alfier going aggressive. And he finds a kill, man. He sees everything through the magnifying glass of self-confidence, but Will, with the showstopper, goes in, goes aggressive. Alfier still up top, and they haven't cleared him out. Seller and Bang, the only two left. Last round of the half. And there's no, there's really, I mean, if Seller gets a kill, maybe he's got the pit. Maybe he can make a play out of this, but no. Mystic gets Fnatic to six with three kills to clean things up. 4-1, 4-4, 6-6 to end it. It doesn't get much better than that. We'll be right back, friends. One enemy remaining. Thank you very much, uh, Dog and Vala. I'm happy to report that there's a smile on this man's face. <laughs> Yay, Valorant, I'm a fan. <laughs> Honestly, that first game was, it was draining. It, it really was because of just how one-sided it was. But this is what it's all about at the end of the day. This is two teams that are adapting back and forth, just going blow for blow in terms of just the layers of strategy on top. Yeah, I, I think I didn't give, somehow, I didn't give the 100 Thieves coaching staff enough credit because they shouldn't look this drilled on the map with there's such little time that they've had. But no. these B retakes that they were doing were pretty gorgeous. I think both teams have had a very good first half. Uh, and this is the half that should be strongest for both teams as well. Look at this B retake that 100 Thieves were able to pull off in round four here. They get the, the Cosmic Divide goes down. They cut off the spike from the rest of the team. And they just swarm in. This is the power of 100 Thieves, the trading. How well everybody is spaced out between each other. And then just all supporting each other to get off these sick retakes. Yeah. And it was only in round 11 and 12 where Fnatic figured out how to plant on B and actually hold a post plant. Yeah, yeah. A huge fan as well of these adjustments that were being made as well, setting up Durka onto those nice angles with the operator in general. But I'm looking ahead now into this map in general because the sides seem quite fitting in terms of the comps that both sides were playing. And how is Alfie now going to get value out of the Neon now that they're moving yeah. to this defense side? That's my question because I think it comes down to proactive control of the map. You need to be taking uh, extremity control really well with the Neon. A bit like how teams would play Split in the past where they would try and fight for B main control, A main control. I think yeah. the same concept applies on this map. Uh, the way I've been thinking about Pearl as well, actually, is kind of like the same uh, layout, I guess, of Split, but just blown up. The map's just much bigger because you have the mid and the extremities and everything else. But Alfier is the star for me, and this guy is who I'm going to be paying close attention to. And how much value is he going to be getting with that Neon? Yeah, I think Alfie is definitely the question coming into the next half. I don't know if Fnatic will be happy with six. Who knows if 100 Thieves are happy with six? That's the half that both teams were banking on. So many on. unknowns. But, but also, when you look at 100 Thieves, how well is Will playing? Let's uh, give Will a shout off. out. Yeah. He's playing so well. Yeah, everyone is so happy here on the desk. Doug and Barlow, uh, how are you guys doing? You happy? Absolutely we are, and you guys touched on a very interesting aspect, the battle of minds. I mean, we saw the stage walk out and Mini was throwing bows, and I think <laughs> it's exactly that that leads to how good this game has been so far, right? It is the coaches, the prep, everything that went into this, because we're seeing both sides come out really strong on the map. And you saw the stat at the bottom of the screen there, 100 Thieves, they're, they're just like criminally good at pistols, man. They, they rarely lose those. They won the first uh, the uh, first half one, and now they've got a chance to do it again. That's a good start again. Excellent start. Mystic with the trade, Spike but Bang continues B. to push his way forward. Let's see if they can match Leviathan, who's 8-0 and o in pistols on their group exit My into dog, playoffs. Dog, it's been one pistol. Come Dude, on. It's... Come on. I mean, maybe. I mean, I'm just going off the stat there. <laughs> <laughs> I just do what I'm told. Uh, they're getting closer and closer. Seems to be the case. Just Dirk and Boaster. You see, they're so far from each other. And Boaster, oh boy. Oh, that was close. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. But off of that, they're just going to rotate into A, and you've got Dirk who's going to take the long way around. 
He's yeah. going to come from an angle that's difficult for them to anticipate. But thankfully, they have three players. And this is where they want to play post plant from. So it shouldn't be any problems. And I guess you can see the, the Roomba was used early on to go back into spawn. Stellar is going to be the first line of defense here. Jump spotting over top of that oh little boy. shed. It's too easy. We've, se we've seen that be a problem before. I mean, the Molly keeping Durka back. He's just locked out. Yeah, there's just no way in. Oh, high low. Oh boy. Ben cleans it up at the end. I saw him go from crouch to uncrouched and. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Whoa. Don't worry. You know what you always say. Well, new plus. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 2-0 for Pistols for 100 Thieves, 7-6. to six. They take the lead again. And Will is definitely feeling confident. For his international debut with as much criticism he's got regionally, it's great to see. Only one half in, but everybody had the question on their minds. Can Will actually be a animal after yeah. everything that was said yep. about him Where online? early, but he seems Ooh. to be answering those questions, and he wants to go aggressive Dude, already. what is that? They've got a Molly going through the window, and a Haunt, too, with a double satchel from Will. Two, so cool. Two Prowlers to clear out Elbow, and they've gotten on to A. Well, I mean, there's no alarm bot. There's no, there's no contest at all. It's drilled. Look, the Molly's on top of the smoke. Yeah. Got planted. Secret smoked out. There's a nade going into dugout to clear that, too. Meanwhile, Fanatics, they're like, yeah, let's just walk push. Let's walk push stack. This has the potential to be chaotic here, depending on where they go. Sure. Yeah, I'd say they have to come into art after what happened to Durka last round. Yeah. And it's just Austin who's here. I mean, you've got Will close by. He has a ghost, too. Ah. All right. It's overwhelmed. One line down. He dodges the flash. Oh, it looks like he may have flashed himself. He's got three. Oh, Enzo is going to show up at the very end of the round. I'm expecting, anticipating pressure from any which side he can find. And ideally here, he stays alive just to die to the spike. That's exactly what happens. It's a pretty perfect anti-eco there from 100 Thieves. Asuna didn't even have a weapon. And Will got four kills. He's really close to that ult. And he only had a Spectre too. So he's easily ready to fight in this bonus. And this is better than they looked in the first half at this at this juncture, at this right? Jun Remember, it was very costly because of Durka previously. Yeah. Now but they they can ride this in a bit more. Now is here where the desks question about what is their what are they going to do, Fnatic, with Alpha here? Yeah, because he has a gun now. They're all light armor though. I expect him to go for a lot of those extremity controls that 100 Thieves was going with the combination of Alpha here and his stuns plus the grab wells and smokes. But they're not opting for that. They're going to have a one three one setup here. Prowler spotting Alphier. No bot lineup for Will. Might keep Alphier back, actually. They fight in front of it. Exchange of utility as they continue to fight their way in through double door while Bang creeps his way up towards A. And there's not, there's nobody step further up. The alarm bots, once you get passed into the site, so they can take a lot of space before they're found. There's a complete difference in philosophies, too, about the approach yeah. on this attack side. Because they're using mid-100 Thieves in a lot more than Fnatic was. They can get so far up, all up. They've taken art. They should be able to take Elbow. Now they have three members left here for uh, Fnatic do. They get two now. But Bloster's got Phantom. And Alphier's here, too. It's a 3v3 here for the site. Is Spectre in the hands of Will. Can he find any value with that, th with that thing as he creeps his way forward just on the other side of the smoke? Bloster there waiting. The Stinger doesn't land. Boaster wins that out, and the numbers just crumble on the side of 100 Thieves. It's all Derek, and he's not going to clutch his way through that one. Love the jump up on the ledge, too, from Durka and Enzo. But that was a difficult situation, right? A lot of the utility had already been spent. And you have Will trying to go for a play into that smoke. Boaster holds strong, though. There's no utility to get him into it, which was the biggest problem. Backside anchor, too, from Boaster. Mm -hmm. Somehow, Durka was there in time. Because they took a little bit of time after they took past our, past the little back alley into sewers. So Fnatic respond when they should, as we'd expect them to. We've got 100 Thieves, full guns, still light armor mm -hmm. all on the side of Fnatic, and they, they had the money to buy. Surprisingly. 
Also note the two ults on the side of 100 Thieves. They take some mid space and then they just stop. The big one I'm looking at is the Cosmic Divide. Yeah. Compared with the Sage Wall, you saw how Paper Rex is using it. You could easily get the plant down. And a lot of what actually was happening in NA was relying on your Astro player to get a lot of those ults out. Uh, Look at Will. Not close enough. He didn't take a lick of damage. Entirely unscathed for that. But they get space. Austin is able to stay here for quite a little while. They've already put their wall up towards B. They are running out of utility, so they might even run into the same issue that they ran last time. Yeah, a couple of misfires here. But the, they just used actually Mystic with his Trailblazer up into Art. Saw nothing. And he falls a little bit farther back. Yeah, note here, though, much like we said in the previous round, this is a very similar setup. They've gotten into Art. They've gotten into this alley. They get all of this space. Oh, look at Enzo. He's pushing out mid right now. Alfie is rotating. Left. They've got this completely red. Cosmic divide through. And again, you've got Enzo, who may be on the flank here. This may be a problem. So they've sectioned off the three members of Fnatic. We're still playing backside and in secret. But they don't worry about Enzo. Enzo is going to play spoiler here. He's got a chance at it. He somehow got Will, but Bang trades it out. Cosmic Divide still keeping him back, but they've already pushed their way through. The threat of the Cosmic Divide is gone, and they put up a wall of their own. They've got lineups, they've got, got gravity walls. Boaster's just gonna hold it the entire way. Oh, oh my gosh, the Molly keeps him back, but they've gotten it to half. Mystic he may be able to do it himself, and he does. We're tied at eight. How did he stay on the spike? There was a grab well. Did they anti grab well him? I'm so lost. We need to see that again. Boaster almost full defused, and then Mystic just finishes it. Threw a molly too. Oh, there's a seize. Did the seize keep keeping? Surely not, right? The seize kept him in place, I think. Isolate and exterminate. <sighs> Round 17 before us. Boaster has his ult. Tied at eight apiece here on Pearl. And again, a push into Alley. A push into Hall and a kill for Will. A slight blunder here last time we saw him in this spot. This time, no showstopper, no satchel to cause problems. Got the up here, too. Dirk can take some damage. Has to back up a tit. Oh, and they're going to fight into Art. Boaster's there, and he's going to spot so many players. Are they expecting Mystic? No, they were not! But Asuna flies across the screen and trades him out. And somehow they come out with that advantage. That is crazy. Trademark slows them down, though. They should be able to get on the site, but off here somehow is getting himself all the way to dugout. He's alone. He's alone. Alfie are one point away from having his ult. They can't really rotate back. And he's only got light armor. Can he be the anchor late in this round? I see the Astro Stars go up. That should draw the rotate. Slow orbs. Darker goes back, Alfie or puts a wall up, starts to spam through it. Not landing any shots yet. Almost isolates the planner. Nine bullets, and now you're going to have to deal with Viper's pit too. Like the situation wasn't hard enough as it is. How does Durka with an op, who has now arrived, find value out of this op? Or do they just save? That seems to be the case. Wow. 100 Thieves debut, and after a blunder like we just saw in the last round, they maintain composure, even after this round started out really well for Fnatic. Hunter Thieves holds strong and gets another spike plan and explosion. They're going so well right now with the way that they're reading the map and the difference is so stark. Uh, and worth noting here for Stellar and Bang, they don't have a ton of money. They went through that round without taking any damage. They don't need to buy up full armor, anything like that. As we get near to the end of the map, when it's as close as this, those little things matter. <laughs> Jump shot from Asuna as well. Keeps the advantage for them. Yeah, but how many times have we seen that turn into a third kill too? <laughs> yeah, that's true, exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's ridiculous that Asuna is the guy to do it again too, because he's constantly doing stuff mm -hmm. like that. He's laughing about it all the way to the bank. <laughs> Slow lineups for him. Double slow. Used very early. 
Two ults on the side of Fnatic. Three, the three remaining members one point away. Now Dark has got his. I imagine he'll be using that here. He's got that operator already, but they're, they're trying to work their way into B and Will pushes into the smoke. Face your fear. What a mad lad. Durka deafened, decayed, and deterred for now. Teleport's ready. What can they find? Where can they go? The reinforcements have arrived. Oh, Surely no. not. Oh, that buzzed right by his hand. Holding a second as the Prowler tries to pave the Hit way. Him. Oh, he's gonna get a kill like this, isn't he? He's been flirting with it for as long as he has. The team's inevitable. Derek on the swing, but Durko with the shot. And now the Cosmic Divide through will try to spam across as Boaster gets it to half. Swings off, gets the kill, but it's Bang who holds him back. Bang again is so clutch in these situations. And he holds the lead for 100 Thieves. So close for Fnatic to hold that. The wall comes up for them too. This was the round. What a swing. Out of the corner. Just found himself a little pocket. And you have to call a pause after that. You felt like you had this game in your grasp for Fnatic. You 100%. After that defuse, you think, oh my goodness, they just messed up. That's it. That's it. We're in this game. We've got this. What a response. What a response. I know I mentioned it a couple of times, but I have to draw us back to the first half. Fnatic called a timeout. After they lost control, they were able to reestablish it. The lead, not as large as it was before, but the task, still the same before them. They've got to find a way to right this ship. Also worth noting very quickly, as we near getting into the round, we, we called it in the previous round, there are a lot of ultimates up for Fnatic here. They may not, they may not have a ton of money. We'll see what that looks like, but they should have a ton of ultimates to work with. Nightfall, Seekers, Alfier and Durka both have their big kill op, kill ults. So they could definitely make a round out of this, especially with Boaster investing a right Guardian there. into this round. Do they just go fast? So One ult popped. There it is, Durka took some damage too. He has to back up. Just took a little decay there, actually. Bomb buddy out. Look at how interestingly 100 Thieves are playing. Is Stellar still back in spawn? They're just neutralizing it right now. Alphiers popped his ult. They're definitely trying to go for this, but they expected them to have committed. Yeah. And they haven't. And he finds nothing. Execution styles. Austin is waiting. Now they're going to push up towards the middle of the map. Again, remember, these are two members who are further back in Bang and uh, Stellar. Now they creep their way forward. Enzo waiting in art. He still has his ult. They've just slowed it Careful. all down. The original plan was to try to punish. Well, let's see Come what you it. can do. Try punishing us. Go ahead. Right there. Great calling from Stellar here. Still have to deal with potentially Durka, and they're coming to his site. Han's going to spot him, and he's smoked off, so they know he's there, and he can't have a challenge. He's just going to have to swing his way through the smoke. If he wants a shot at this thing, no. Spike planted. Shoots one off and then gets away. Oh. Bang has fallen, and Enzo's got a weapon. Oh, but the timing's not great. But he may have hurt him. He did hear him, and he lands the shots on Stellar as well. Where are you? Enzo on land activated. How have they flipped this thing back in their favor? Now the Seekers are used. They have full control. They've dropped everything. The Seeker's going to find Asuna on the flank, so they know he's there. Mystic's going to get it to half. half. Boaster cleans it up, but they get the kill on Duel. Oh, but it's still at half. One it's still at half. They've got to get the kills. And Durka may be doing it himself. You hear the showstopper. Will just biding his time. Boaster with the brutal decision before him. And a showstopper as well. Destroyed again. After it looked like they actually had a chance in that round. But they're neutralizing Durka so well in the back of sight. You saw before the hit even came, utility after utility was landing on him. The rendezvous has to use before he even sees anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Almost landed that kill. That was so close. 
And Enzo's just not fast enough to actually fight while that defuse is going down. Plus Derek in the smoke. <laughs> you said he didn't show emotion like that? I mean, <laughs> when he's back, somewhat involved in the server. There's an opening. There's how you get some value, Durka. Yeah. We actually yeah. did not see that in their loss against Paper Rex back at Copenhagen, where he takes the initiative. Big opener out from him. You will Interesting not wall. You got the res back up. Bring Derek into the fold once again. The Molly's going to keep Boaster back. And remember, Dirk is on the opposite side of the map, so they, sh they should feel a bit more comfortable about, about, about getting B-Long control here. Push their way forward. They've gotten up so far. And they're going to have backside control, too. Something that concerns me as the spike goes down. We have a 5v5. Durka is flanking with an off. Yeah, but you've got Derek who's waiting for it, too. Meanwhile, the rest of the fight is going to happen on the site. They the just haunt, used a haunt. And he waited around it, so they don't know that he's coming. But he, the time is going to have to be Alpha, your slides his way forward. He's able to get one. Asuna on the trade. Missed it. Going to back where Alpha Year was just a moment ago to find the same level of value. And missed it. Gets another. And it was Durka on the flank to clean it up at the end. It was a slow burn, but a good one nonetheless. <laughs> but they really didn't even need him. Mystic and Alpha just make a meal out of the players in back of sight. And 100 Thieves, momentum was with them. But they decide finally to go towards that B site. And they pay for it. Dirk is money is still not even that great for them, too. They won three rounds in a row. You're right, it wasn't. Mystic so good in that spot. One we saw the first eight. half too. Yeah. Two round lead here still for 100 Thieves. And you mentioned it, Bala. The money not great. You see it reflected in the buy. Two Spectres and a Stinger. They do have the Astral Wall though. But it's difficult to play post points with these types of weapons. So how are they going to really use that to great effect? I mean, they're doing a good job of trying to get close quarter combat. Oh, boy. Oh, the head is Here. visible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There it is. No. Well, you we were mentioning how 100 Thieves go about this round. They were doing a good job of getting close quarter combat because of the weapons that they have. Again, in the Spectres and the Singers, they were using Prowlers to take space and swing off of that. But now that they've gone through most of that utility, how do they approach? They have no room but to clear space. They have no prowlers to clear space. Pang is so far up. Hey, he's by himself here. They smoked off, but it's deep. The alarm bot's going to spot them, and that's exactly where they're going. They're going to have to clear it out, and that might be a sp spam spot. Yeah, there it is. As soon as the alarm Look bot at the flank! Out, the spam is there, and what, what flank? Boaster was wise to it. They're just going to push in. Oh, they're going to push in, and him with 44 HP is able to get another. 30 seconds left. What, what, I mean, what are your options here? You're Top stuck in the middle out. of the map. With nowhere to go. The wall is still available here, but Stellar just put it up, so by the time Top they get there, down. it's going to be gone, and Dirk is waiting on the other side. Dodges the haunt again. 13 seconds left. The operator enemy. continues to be a problem. They should be able to carry that. Well, actually, yeah, they are going to be able to get that up. Carry it into the next round. Fnatic win another. What could have been a dangerous round for 100 Thieves ended up being pretty dangerous, but still with the disadvantage. They now have the guns. And they've been so good with them. This second half, they have been destroying the A site with their executes. Destroying the middle of the map. Denying any sort of control from Fnatic. Compare that to the first half that 100 Thieves had on their defense and they were controlling a lot of the extremities i really feel like they've been in control this game but it's still 11 to 10. Uh, fanatic's response last couple of rounds has been incredible because mm -hmm. you, you think and you see it on the you, if you look at the timeline you see like that was the moment in which you you can kind of lose full control yep. of what's going on that's where you let the map go out of your grasp yep but it is a hundred thieves timeout Sean is trying to give the tools to his team to close this game out right here, right now. And you think about the econ economy. 100 Thieves is a chance to break them as they go to match point.
Meanwhile, they're going to need this one specifically because next round they're for sure going to be ecoing. And that'll give the opportunity for Nat Fnatic to get to match point instead. Well, look at the minimap. They have three members of Fnatic up against the gate towards B. There's no one there who's going to be there to, cont to contest it, but they're going to take so much space. Remember, last time we saw these lineups from Asuna, it was double slows. One outside of the art push, and the other one to deny somebody going back towards secret. Face your fear. This three-man flank is going to be brutal. It only tags one member in secret, as you mentioned. Enzo close by. The Prowler's going to hunt him all the way back. This is ridiculous. Are they accounting oh. for this flank? Enzo's no longer around, but the, I mean, the real threat is behind them. The Cosmic Divide's going to keep them back, or at least Boaster. Bang is waiting. Bang is waiting. He's ready for it. The op shot doesn't land. But are you expecting two more? I think that's a big issue here. But they're all going back towards the art side, so they're using their Viper Wall, too. This is going to be difficult, even if it's unexpected. Oh, the round has collapsed for Fnatic. Take it out. Maybe Mystic can do something about it. He's got the Seekers. He goes to Prowler. You see Alfie are pushing his way forward. Mystic's left alone. 38 HP, the Gravity Well, the Spam, 100 Thieves, map point. That could have been so map disastrous. Point. Yeah. But they handled it so well. And it came so slow from Fnatic, too. And meanwhile, Durka splits from his team. Look at this. Three guns right now. He just saw three guns purchased from Fnatic. The rest of the players cannot. They've just done such a good job. Like, you can see it in their game plan. Fnatic want to apply pressure off the flanks, understanding there is no trip to, to, to cover the flank or anything like that. They have to face those flanks themselves. But 100 Thieves a step ahead, expecting that level of pressure. They're going fast with this Viper all this time. First time they're actually using it when it's match point. What a gift of a map that's been so far. Slow going into back sight. Clear out everything around them. It's just, just Buster and Enzo here. The wall up, and this is, yeah, this is the hit we were kind of expecting for oh, a long time, but Buster spams through the box. Pang is taken back sight. And now they've got the Seekers to work with, too. Still making it work. Yeah. They got the pit. Under Thieves have advantage. They've got numbers advantage. Mystic and now in. they have the Shroud, too. Mystic not able to find anything off of that. Pushes the Seekers off, but Alfie are surely not. Is this where he spells disaster? No! Derek drops some Durka into 1v4 to keep the map alive. And he's not able to do it. As soon as he steps in, Stellar drops him. 100 Thieves win per-